Welcome to Car By Me with Cameron where I give you tips to personalize any model to your taste. There's a really nice infotainment center here, pretty good size. There's all different kind of information that you can see on here about your car. You can also integrate this with Apple CarPlay if you have an iPhone or if you have an Android, use Android Auto and basically it's going to put your entire phone screen right here in front of you. So if you want to listen to a podcast while you're driving, respond to a text message, make a phone call, whatever it is, you're obviously not getting enough screen time as it is. So you should for sure bring that into your car and see if you can clock a few more hours. Or if you need to, if you really don't want to take your eyes off the road at all, you can move basically all of this into the digital cockpit. So there's all different displays here and I can see all that different information. You can also switch it over to a myriad of different driver assistant features like parking assistant, backup camera, area view, and lane monitoring. It also comes with adaptive cruise control, which is the ability to sense the speed of the car in front of you and then automatically adjust your speed to match it. The 2021 Atlas comes standard with home link feature. So if you're still riding around with a garage door opener on your visor, that's fine. Just why? I just want to know why. Home link is affordable, especially when rolled in with your monthly car payment. And it gives you the ability to open and close your garage door, activate and deactivate your home security system, turn lights and appliances on and off. Can your garage door opener tell you if you left the door open when you peeled out late for work five minutes ago? I don't think so. Can your garage door opener turn the lights on and off for you when you come home late at night? Also, no. It's battery free, so the maintenance is effortless. 